I've got MND. Two years ago, almost to the day, isn't it? Two years ago, next Thursday. We had the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. By that stage, my neck had become quite weak. When I stand, my head just falls completely forward and I have very little muscular support for my head. I felt very self-conscious. Yes. We're on holiday or, um, you know, in the pub or, yes. or wherever. My head would be down. Um, eating and drinking would be difficult. Communicating with people would be awkward. That just added to, to complications that we were that we were faced with. Mm, yes, yes. We didn't know how we were going to cope. I've had the colour for about 18 months. Whatever I'm doing, whether I'm just reading the newspaper, reading a book, watching TV, out and about, driving, whatever it is, I wear the collar really most of the day. Um, because even if I'm just sitting reading a book, um, that little bit of help makes all the difference. The Head Up Collar is um, a novel neck support device that has been created um, by a team of people that included designers, patients, families and its unique setting point is the fact that it provides support but allows movement and it's adaptive to people's needs. Patients would come to me, they'd have this problem with their, with their head drop and we'd go and see the physio together and the physiotherapist would say, well I've already given this patient uh, three collars. I'd ask the patient, where are all these collars? And she said, well, they, they don't work. I didn't like that one because it was too hot. I didn't like this one because it offered no support or it digged in. And, and really, the patients would take all the collars we'd given them, they would go home and put them in a drawer. The design of the head-up collar allows freedom of movement whilst giving support to that person. So it's made up of a snood that fits around the neck, and then a series of different supports that can be added to it dependent on where the person needs and requires that support. So the idea is this is a product that can be completely customised to the patient's needs and requirements. And that's a huge benefit and beauty of the actual collar and its design. Hi. Hi. Lovely afternoon. It's much more comfortable. Mm, that's one of the main things. Um, and you can put, you can fit it underneath your underneath your shirt, um, so it looks a piece of clothing really, rather than a a medical device. If yeah, I don't if, think if that's a I fair don't think way people to people notice it. To be honest, without the collar, I wouldn't be able to drive, and that makes a huge difference because the rigid collar, you can look ahead, but you can't look to a, you can't turn your head to look to see if the traffic is coming this way or this way. But with this collar, you can do that. That's amazing. Fundamentally, that goes back to the original need that patients came forward with. That none of the devices out there at those two ends of the spectrum, sort of very limited support you get from soft foam collars, or at the other end of the spectrum, the, the immobilisation devices provided for trauma, fit what they need, and they wanted a device that provided support but allowed them to move. And that's what this does. The proof in the pudding for me was they would come into the clinic wearing it, it wasn't in the drawer with the other collars. I don't think if there had just been healthcare professionals saying what was needed or designers working in isolation or, or even patients saying this is what they need, I think none of those groups would have been able to come up with what we've developed, something that is being used. One of the powerful bits of feedback that we got from Carol was the first time actually that Philip had received the head up collar and Philip felt confident for them to go and have a meal. It was actually the first time in a long time um, that they're able to sit across a table and actually hold eye contact. I think we all kind of shed a tear actually, it was quite an emotional moment to hear that um, directly from a patient and a patient's wife as to the impact of the head up collar. I, I can't imagine what it would be like without it. I can go out in the garden. Um, and I can do a few jobs out there. You can I? indeed, yes. We go into town, we go to the, we go into the theatre. It's just, li it's life changing. I really, don't it? think I could contemplate life without you having that now. Hi, great to see you again.
It's exciting to be here today. I would say it's five years of work which have led to this point from the initial ideas that came from, from patients um, about not having uh, you know, a, a sort of neck support that was fit for purpose that they wanted to use. So patients driving the research and then feeding into the concept development, true partnership we had with patients. And then the sort of development and the evaluation which has gone on since then. And here we are, and I've held in my hand today for the first time, uh, the final product uh, that's going to be available on the NHS to patients tomorrow. It's really great. Taylor made approached us because they, they'd heard about the collar and were, were interested in it. It feels just right that it's been designed here um, in Sheffield and we're working with a commercial partner uh, in the area as well. What they've brought uh, to the product is, I think, has taken it to uh, the next level. They're so enthusiastic about um, developing this uh, and bringing it to patients both in the NHS and internationally and they've brought several design innovations uh, which are real improvements. Neoprene outer with the nice soft neoprene finish on it, yeah, but lined with Outlast which is the thermal regulating material that uh, NASA originally designed. What the BRC the does, it, it, it joins up uh, the discovery and science and helps channel the, the outputs from that, the new exciting compounds, the new technologies, you know, such, such as head up into uh, you, you know, patient populations to allow us to test it in patient populations. And then as, we, as we're seeing with the head up project, it, it then allows us to begin to make commercial partnerships uh, to you know, make sure that we realize the full potential of what we've developed earlier in the pathway.